Well, the sun is beaming down on us out here at the Johnson City Country Club today, and I'm here with Chef Greg Saunders, and we're talking a Hawaiian fish that I really have never heard of before that you're preparing on the grill for us today. Called opa. Opa. Not opa. opa. <laughs> not the uh, Greek. This is the Hawaiian side. Right. And the opa. Not, uh, right. uh, beautiful fish in the water. Mm -hmm. Tasty fish out of the water. Um, if you take a look at it, you see where it's uh, kind of a little more red. Right. Um, you see it has a lot, some good fat running all the way through it. As we cook this, it's going to whiten right up for us, become a lighter, flakier fish, whereas it kind of has that look of sword right now. Yeah. A little bit meatier, but it's going to lighten up as we cook it a when little When you bit. first took it out, I thought maybe a type of tuna when you took it out the so, first time. Yeah, so it's so. just got that good color so to it. So we're going on the grill with this as well? We're going on the grill with everything today. All right. So we... Uh, but it's also known as the Hawaiian moonfish. I, I like that fish. as well. That's that, that. It looks like a big moon. Big round. It's a big right. round disc of a fish, and, okay. and looks just like the moon. All right. So, so we're going to go ahead and just rub this down with a little bit of olive oil, both for flavor and also so that we can get it on and off the grill without uh, without, it without it sticking. Yeah. So and then we're going to do just a little salt and pepper. Very simple preparation. And we're going to look to go to about a medium on this fish. We don't okay. want to go, we don't want to overcook it to where it gets dry. We're just going to look to go to about a medium, give it some good flavor. And I think a lot of people think that you have to cook fish and cook fish and cook fish, but really you don't. I mean, you don't. You just need to keep some flavor in it. That's, that's the bigger goal. You mm -hmm. want to get a good sear to the outside. Right. And then if you get it up to about a medium, most fish that you're buying is sushi, sushi grade, right. so sashimi grade, so you can eat it raw. Not everybody does, so if we get it to a good medium, we'll get the flavor without cooking everything out of it and being dry. And we don't want that. Definitely don't want Definitely that. Definitely don't want that. So where are we headed now? We're going to do a little, uh, a little bruschetta with it. Oh, very uh, good. Minus the bread. <laughs> we're going to take some uh, grape tomatoes, and we're going to take some uh, little, I'm putting a little spin on this one. We're going to go ahead and add in some red onions. Typically, okay. bruschetta does not have the onions, but since we're grilling, it gives us an opportunity to get a little bit more of that flavor into okay. it. Which is what we're looking to do from the grill is get all those good flavors in it. And it's really and easy to make your own bruschetta. Absolutely. Uh, so we're just going to do a little, a little salt and pepper. All right. And get that right on the grill. That, get it going here. Oh Onions man, it down. smells amazing. Now we're just going to put those tomatoes on down. We got a little bit of a flame up from the oil, but all we're going to do is just slide some things forward. We may lose a few through the grates as we go, but we've got enough to make everything happen. As Sacrifice so. for the dish. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be okay. So where are we headed so, now? Next thing we're going to do is uh, we've got to have something to serve with it, and we're going to do some asparagus. Oh, I love asparagus. Now, we're doing a nice little pencil uh, asparagus, so it's going to cook pretty quickly for us. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and... If it was real thick, we'd probably uh, blanch it first. Right. And then just let it finish, but same thing. We're going to go a little olive oil. A little salt and pepper. We're going to go ahead and give that a good toss. And I love that coarse salt you're using on so there as well. So kosher salt makes a big oh, difference. Oh, it does. It does. And we're now, we're putting this on the grill. We're going to get that going. And we'll be back in a few minutes to finish off this dish. And this just looks marvelous. And uh, I can't wait to see how this comes together. This is just the good freshness and the good outdoors. All so. right. We'll be back in a minute to check all this out.